Ever hit play on a movie expecting that cinematic punch, but the sound just didn't pull you in? You're probably missing out on Dolby Atmos. In this video, I'll walk you through how to enable Dolby Atmos on Netflix so you can finally experience movies the way they're meant to be heard. Immersive, detailed, and theater-like. If this video helps you out, give it a like so YouTube shares it with others, and consider subscribing for more easy, no-fluff tech guides. First, let's talk about what Dolby Atmos is. It's an advanced surround sound technology that makes audio feel like it's coming from all directions, even from above. This creates an incredibly immersive sound experience that traditional surround sound just can't match. Imagine hearing a helicopter fly over your head or rain falling all around you. It's that kind of realism. If you want to know the difference between Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos, you can consider watching this video which is being displayed in the top right corner. Don't start watching it now, I'll remind you at the end of this video. But before diving into settings, you need to make sure your equipment is compatible. If you're using a smart TV, check if it supports Dolby Atmos. Most modern TVs do, but it's always safe to confirm on the manufacturer's site or by checking for the Dolby Atmos logo on the box or product specs. The same goes for your speakers or soundbar. Not all soundbars support Atmos, so look for models that mention Dolby Atmos or DTS-X support. For example, systems like the Vio Neri's 5.1.2 immersive soundbar are built specifically for this. If you're using a streaming device like Fire TV, Apple TV, or NVIDIA Shield connected straight to a soundbar or AV receiver, your TV doesn't need to support Atmos. Your audio gear does the heavy lifting. Even older TVs can get that sweet Atmos sound with the right setup. Quick heads up, Netflix only gives you Dolby Atmos sound if you're on the premium plan. If you're not, you won't get Atmos. Just log in and check your plan in the account settings to find out. Lastly, make sure your device settings are set up right. Some gear auto enables Atmos, but sometimes you'll need to dig into the audio output or surround sound settings and manually turn it on. Easy win once it's dialed in. When it comes to finding Atmos content on Netflix, just search for titles that display the Dolby Atmos logo. You can also filter the Netflix library to only show Atmos compatible titles by using the search bar or browsing Netflix's supported devices page. Here's an important part. Make sure your TV and soundbar are connected using HDMI RC or EARC. ARC handles basic surround sound, but EARC is much better. It gives you higher quality sound and works faster. If both your TV and soundbar support EARC, definitely use it. You'll get better audio and be ready for the future too. If you're a gamer or someone who streams action-heavy content, Atmos can make a big difference. You'll hear footsteps, gunfire, and ambient sounds from directions you didn't think possible, giving you an edge and making game play feel ultra realistic. Also, don't forget mobile users. Some newer iPhones and iPads support Dolby Atmos playback through compatible headphones like AirPods Pro or AirPods Max. It won't match a full home theater setup, but it's still a noticeable upgrade in immersion. And that's a wrap. With the right gear, the right Netflix plan, and a quick setup, you can enjoy real Dolby Atmos sound at home. All the product links are in the description, so take a look if you're interested. If this video helped, give it a like. It helps others find it too. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips to level up your setup. Also, as promised, now's the perfect time to check out that video we mentioned earlier about the difference between Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos. Just click the link in the top right corner. Thanks for watching. See you next time.